In the last few decades, humanity has faced a challenge of significant proportions, the phenomenon of global warming. But have you ever wondered exactly what this represents and how it's been affecting our lives, often in imperceptible ways? And is it possible to combat this phenomenon? Welcome to Futuristic Findings, where I'll take a detailed look at these questions and explore potential solutions to this problem in this video. In the past week, Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General of the United Nations, made a striking and alarming statement by declaring, The age of global boiling has arrived. These words convey the urgency and seriousness of the climate crisis humanity is currently facing. The term global boiling is metaphorical yet powerful, depicting a situation where climate change is reaching a critical and irreversible point. But do you truly understand what global warming is and the changes it has already brought upon our planet in recent years? This has been a central topic in global discussions over the past decades. It is a phenomenon primarily caused by human activities, such as burning fossil fuels, deforestation, intensive agriculture, and other practices that release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. These gases act as a blanket, trapping the sun's heat on Earth and gradually raising the planet's average temperature. In 2022, the global average temperature has already risen by 1.15 degrees Celsius above the pre-industrial era. And predictions indicate that one of the next five years will be the hottest on record. The main gases that play a significant role in increasing the greenhouse effect are carbon dioxide and methane. These gases are predominantly released by human activities, and they are responsible for a large part of the climate changes we currently face. Carbon dioxide is extensively emitted through the burning of fossil fuels, such as coal, oil, and natural gas, used in energy generation and transportation. Additionally, deforestation and forest degradation contribute to carbon release, as trees can no longer absorb this gas through photosynthesis. Methane, although emitted in smaller quantities compared to carbon dioxide, has a significantly higher global warming potential. Its release comes from activities such as livestock farming, where cattle digestion produces methane, and agricultural practices like rice cultivation in flooded fields. Furthermore, natural gas leaks are also sources of methane emissions. Global warming is supported by solid scientific evidence showing a consistent increase in global temperatures over the past few decades. Scientific institutions like NASA and NOAA provide data and graphs that demonstrate this warming trend. Additionally, the accelerated melting of glaciers and polar ice caps is a visible evidence of the impact of high temperatures. Satellite images and field measurements clearly indicate the reduction of ice in areas like Greenland and Antarctica. Rising sea levels are another notable consequence of global warming, affecting coastal communities and threatening vulnerable ecosystems. Indeed, the rise in sea levels is already impacting some major cities around the world. Over the last three decades, there has been an average increase of approximately 10 centimeters in the global sea level, resulting from the accelerated melting of glaciers and polar ice caps, as well as the thermal expansion of water due to ocean warming. While this elevation may seem insignificant at first glance, it represents billions of tons of melted ice each year, contributing to the increased volume of the oceans and endangering the stability of coastal areas. Coastal cities like Venice, Italy, are experiencing the effects of this phenomenon with significant impact. Venice, known for its historical beauty and unique architecture, is built on a lagoon connected to the Adriatic Sea. Its unique location makes it particularly vulnerable to flooding, as much of the city is near sea level. High tides, known as aqua alta, have become increasingly frequent, causing temporary flooding in some parts of the city. These floods affect infrastructure, housing, and historical sites, raising concerns about the preservation of the city's cultural and economic heritage. Another crucial evidence of global warming is ocean acidification, resulting from increased concentrations of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which is absorbed by the oceans. This phenomenon has negative effects on marine ecosystems and can significantly impact marine life. Additionally, climate changes resulting from global warming cause alterations in weather patterns worldwide, leading to more frequent and intense extreme weather events, such as heat waves, prolonged droughts, stronger storms, and heavy rainfall. 
The increase in global temperature affects various areas, including biodiversity, agriculture, and human health. Biodiversity faces significant threats as rising temperatures put many species around the world at risk. Changes in natural habitats and impacts on ecosystems can lead to mass extinction of plants and animals, resulting in a concerning environmental imbalance. In agriculture, global warming causes adverse effects, impacting crops with extreme weather conditions such as prolonged droughts and heavy rainfall, leading to significant losses in agricultural production. This directly affects food availability, compromising global food security, especially in vulnerable regions that depend on agriculture for subsistence. Another alarming impact is its influence on human health, as rising temperatures favor the spread of vector-borne diseases such as malaria, dengue, and Zika, which become more common in previously unaffected areas. Additionally, extreme weather events like heat waves, storms, and floods pose direct health risks, causing physical and mental harm and straining healthcare systems. Furthermore, air quality is also affected by global warming, as it intensifies the formation of atmospheric pollutants such as ozone and fine particles, which can lead to respiratory and cardiovascular problems in humans, drastically reducing life expectancy in areas with less developed sanitation. Indeed, let's revisit the question posed at the beginning of the video. How can we combat this problem? To combat global warming, it is essential to adopt a comprehensive approach that includes an accelerated transition to clean and renewable energy sources, reduction of greenhouse gas emissions, investment in energy efficiency, preservation of forests and reforestation, adoption of sustainable agricultural practices, and public awareness of the importance of individual actions. International cooperation and the implementation of government policies are crucial to tackle global warming and ensure a more sustainable future for generations to come. In this regard, forest conservation plays a crucial role, especially when it comes to the Amazonia, which is the world's largest tropical forest. Effective measures to protect and preserve this region are essential for mitigating climate change as forests play a significant role in capturing and storing carbon dioxide, in addition to harboring rich biodiversity. After watching this video, I hope you have gained more knowledge about global warming and its relevance in the current context. Now, I would like to know if you are already familiar with the reason why space is dark, or if you have had the opportunity to see the first video recorded on Mars. If you haven't had this experience yet, I invite you to watch other videos on our channel, Take care and see you soon.